Hi, I'm Michael Dembro. I am a teacher at Portland Community College. I've been teaching uh, English and film here for 30 years. And uh, one of my real passions is African film. Uh, and thanks to the African Film Festival, I've been able to share that passion with lots and lots of people. The film festival was born out of serendipity. There were four of us who were interested in Africa and African film without knowing it, uh, without knowing that the others were interested. And everything was uh, provoked sort of by chance by the creation of a new film by the great African director, Ousmane Zemben from Senegal, uh, someone that I had met back in the mid 70s uh, and had interviewed, had studied with. And uh, after many years, he made his uh, next film, and it was called The Camp at Chiroy. One of our um, faculty members here, Linda Elegant, had seen in the uh, Christian Science Monitor that this film was coming out. She was really interested in Africa, but she didn't know that there really was such a thing as an African cinema. Uh, and so she talked to me. She talked to Mary Holmstrom, who uh, was teaching African literature. Uh, and loved everything African. She herself was born in Africa. Uh, and another one of our colleagues, Joseph Smith Buani, who was teaching math here, he's from Sierra Leone. And we s started talking to each other and we decided, you know what? We're gonna get this film here and we're gonna get three other films uh, from Africa and we're gonna use them to celebrate Black History Month here at PCC Cascade, a campus that uh, had a very large number of African-American students. It's in the heart of the African-American community of Portland, and where many of the residents of this community just do not know as, as much about the African content and African heritage as they want to. And so we were gonna make this possible for them. Uh, and so the festival was born. And what happened in that first, uh, that first festival was, you know, as I said, it was serendipitous. Uh, things just kind of came together, and that's something that has happened every year of the 21 years of the festival. It was purely an act of love and of volunteerism, and that has continued for the 21 years of the festival. Uh, people came to this campus, many of them came to a PCC campus for the very first time in their lives and were inspired by what they saw and relationships f were formed that have continued until today. Uh, it, there was so much energy in that first year that you know, I believe that that's what generated uh, every festival that has, that has come since then uh, because there was a kind of explosion of interest. And so how could we not have another festival the next year? And that's what's kept it going. The festival is a festival, but it's more than a festival. Uh, it's really a kind of cultural event, uh, and it's a community building event. It is not just, it doesn't just show a film, but it provides uh, all sorts of cultural context for the film. And uh, right from the very beginning, we made an effort to have every film introduced by someone from the country that the film um, was made in and to have that person be available for questions and answers after. And I would say that it was those questions and answers, the conversations that happened around the films, and many of them very difficult conversations about you know, touchy kinds of cultural, racial, political kinds of issues, that really built community and uh, built friendships and I think uh, did, it created bridges between different communities here in Portland. You know, people who are here from other countries, from African countries, for example, as refugees, often feel kind of marginalized. Uh, and they knew from the very beginning that this was a place that they could come. They could come to this PCC Cascade campus. This was a safe place for them. This was a place where people were gonna to want to hear about their experiences, where they were gonna be the experts of their experiences. And uh, it just gave them tremendous confidence and, and empowerment. And at the same time, allowed them to, to make relationships with 
people from other parts of the African continent, uh, as well as in some cases people from their own country that they didn't know were living in this area, uh, as well as uh, uh, people uh, who had no direct ties to Africa, but were just interested in world affairs and world issues and cross-cultural kinds of experiences. That's what's really unique about this festival. You know, the, the, the movies are great, they're important, but they're just the springboard to something larger. One other thing that I would say is uh, it's rare to have a festival like this on a college campus, certainly on a community college campus. I, I would say we're, um, you know, we're the only community college campus in the country that has anything like the Cascade Festival of African Films. And the fact that we have uh, been supported in this by PCC Cascade, by PCC in general, really speaks so much to what this college is all about. These days, it's easier to see films from Africa uh, in your own home uh, through Netflix or through various internet kinds of uh, resources. But there is nothing like seeing a film in a theater with other people, especially when the audience is really diverse and includes a lot of people from the country that the film was made in. You will see, we'll show a film, and you will see people just start cracking up. Uh, and that's because the film had some inside jokes that those audience members knew about. And invariably, after the film, uh, those people will be asked, so what was so funny about that moment in the film? You can watch that film at home, but you're not gonna have that kind of experience. You're not gonna get that kind of energy. Uh, and you know, often they're just great, funny things, as I said, but often they're also very tragic things. And seeing them with other people helps you to work your way through that tragedy and, and somehow come to terms. And not only come to terms with the tragedy, but perhaps find ways that you can actually do something about the problem in the film. And you know, often in the conversations after the film, people will be given a path to get more information or to get involved, to get engaged, to do something to, to rectify and to reach out to people who are in those uh, difficult circumstances. In the early days of the festival, the only way that people in this town could see films from Africa was through festivals like this uh, and uh, people bringing the film, the 35 millimeter film or the 16 millimeter film here to town uh, for them to see. We had no Netflix. We, these films were not being uh, rented in video stores. And so that made them really, really special. But one of the things that the festival committed to doing from its early years is whenever a film was available on video and was affordable, uh, we tried to buy them. And we used our grant money for that. Uh, the, the college helped us with that, um, individual contributions helped with that, and we were gradually able to build a collection of these films in the PCC library that anyone in the area can borrow, uh, and in fact people at other colleges can also request and have it transferred through interlibrary loan. And it is, uh, uh, I believe, the largest library of African films in the Pacific Northwest a fantastic resource. So it, for those people who, for whatever else was going on in their lives, couldn't make it to that film screening, they still have access to the films. They still have access to the notes. They still have access to uh, information about the film in the country. And um, we're very proud of that. Boy, you know, one of the really unique things about the festival is that we do dedicate the last week of the festival, the fifth week of the festival, to films made by women directors. Um, just focusing on women directors in general is unique, but focusing on women directors from Africa is extremely unique. And the fact that we've been able to do this all these years has uh, exposed people to women directors uh, that they absolutely never would have met. And uh, m you know, some of them we've been able to bring uh, onto campus, into town, and um, in any case, we've, we've shown their films. And you know, without a doubt, uh, male directors can touch on issues uh, important to women 
and do a great job with it. But women bring a particular uh, perspective, a particular kind of experience uh, to filmmaking that is very important. And if nothing else, um, <clears throat> you know, young women in the audiences seeing these films, when they see that women from Africa can make films, what does that mean about what I can do? And that there's always so much energy around Women Filmmakers Week. What's really unique about this festival is that these stories, uh, these issues, these relationships are all told by Africans, initially for Africans, but through Africans to the larger world. And that is, um, that's what's really important to us. You can watch um, programs about Africa that are made by Europeans, that are made by Americans, and they're gonna come from a very different perspective than those that are being told directly through African eyes. Boy, it's so striking when you look at most films about Africa that are made by Westerners, they tend to focus on problems and tragedies and war and famine and disease. And uh, without having a real clear sense that uh, Africans are people living their lives, their lives are full of joy, their lives are in some cases difficult, in other cases not. They are real people. And to really get that across, you need to have people telling their stories themselves. Uh, and having a festival that is built around that ethic, I think, you know, really um, has made this festival so special. This is not a festival about human rights. This is not a festival about disease or health care. This, this is a film festival about Africa through African eyes. It's, it's a very different way of doing things. The film world for African film is kind of a small world, at least those who are involved in it in this country. And so having a really strong reputation as we do with this film festival, really means a lot. African direct directors, after they leave this, this uh, festival, they talk about us to their colleagues uh, back home in Africa or when they come to this country, you know, they'll ask them, so have you ever been to Portland? Uh, you've been to the Cascade Festival of African Films, haven't you? And uh, they just go on and on and on. And I have to say that many of the directors that we have been able to bring here uh, we have brought because of the word of mouth from other directors. And the idea that this is happening at Portland Community College makes it even more special. You know, because some of these directors, that maybe they've been to Harvard or to Yale or to UCLA or NYU, uh, but when they come to PCC and they meet our students and our community members, something clicks with them and they take it back with them. And it's something, that, and I've had people say this to me, directors say this to me, they are seeing real people uh, that they can connect with in the same way that they can connect with people back home. It, it is very unique, very special. These films are made by African directors. They're showing African experience through African eyes and they are very African focused. But what they are sharing with us is more than Africa. These are universal human stories. And the fact that they're being told by Africans themselves um, allows us to really share in that larger humanity. Whether they're talking about family and you know, the difficulties that, uh, that happen between generations, um, between you know parental expectations, you know versus you know kids wanting to break free, uh, whether it's about uh, people who feel um, that their political system is holding them back, uh, you know I would say that the kinds of stories that we're seeing breaking out all around us at this moment in the Middle East, people wanting to really fulfill. Uh, their education, fulfill their life dreams, but being pushed down uh, by 
you know, tradition and oppressive forces. Um, we, we see that in these films out of Africa. It's a universal kind of experience to want to take the best of tradition, not to reject tradition, but to take the best of tradition, but to merge it with looking at things in a new way, taking the, the strength of that tradition and using it to be able to move forward. That you will see in people's experience all around the world. So what these films allow us to do is not pigeonhole Africans and say, you know, this is an African experience. Yes, it's African, but it's universal. People of all ages, people of all backgrounds can relate to these stories. And that's a fantastic thing. This festival is all about breaking stereotypes. You know, it's about breaking stereotypes about Africa. It's about breaking st stereotypes about black Americans, African Americans. It's about breaking stereotypes about Portland Community College, about Portland Community College Cascade. Perhaps it's less true now, but when we started this festival, uh, Portland Community College Cascade was looked down upon as being located in a part of the city that nobody would ever want to go to. You know, that's where, that's the black part of town. And they have nothing to offer. It's a second-rate campus. Those of us who, you know, taught here and loved this place and loved this community, we knew what a rich place it was. We knew what a talented place this was. And we wanted to show that to the rest of the world. This is one of the few places in this entire country where you can have this kind of experience. Here in Little Portland Community College, here in Little Portland, Oregon, and yet culturally, it's a kind of mecca. And I, I'm so proud of that. In general, I love breaking down stereotypes, but when it has to do with this college, with Portland Community College, I'm especially proud of it.